Today's day and age, the challenges of society is way greater than it was 20, 30 years ago. Young children are having problems every which way you go, falling through the cracks. What's going on in his mind, what he's exposed to, the pressures, the tensions, it's like a different world that he lives in today. And you see because of it, the effects it has on the children are much, much greater. In bias, in shamis, in every single home, there's somebody that has something going on. And for years and years, everyone thought they needed to hide it because nobody else is dealing with this. In reality, it's something that is so common and so widespread. Every rabbi and every school will tell you that they are dealing with serious, serious situations that are completely pulling apart the family. And if it's not being addressed the right way, the problem doesn't stay stagnant, it grows. Therapy is a given today. For certain boys and girls, that's the only answer to really get them over the hump that they're in. Many, many times in the past, because of the cost of the treatment, either they make a horrible mistake in finding the wrong therapist, or just ignoring the whole thing together because they can't even face another bill. The moment you push off the problem, you kick it down the line, it hits their marriage, it hits their way they bring up their children, and it's problems forever. It's years and years of emotional suffering that could be avoided if we catch that early on. The rampancy and how widespread it is became to a point where it was no longer deniable. We've taken down barrier after barrier after barrier. Now that we have awareness, acceptance, and accessibility, now we have to be able to actually pay for it. Ez El Anafesh is the only organization whose sole purpose is to subsidize therapeutic intervention for boys and girls in the Jewish school system. Ezra Lenefus really comes to the rescue and says, okay, we're going to pay up to 50% of the therapy bill, which is a huge help. KEL comes in and saves the day. Yes, we'll help you take care of it until she is where she needs to be and she's ready to get married and build a home of our own. Karen, Ezra Lenefus, they're attacking the problem at a teenager. We've seen that when they get help, they do get better and they're able to run regular successful lives. So really, Karen Ezra Nefesh is not helping people, it's literally saving lives. We deal with a wide range of issues. Anything from a child not having the self-confidence to individuals that are struggling with serious addictions or a traumatic history. We deal with issues like OCD, ADHD, anxiety, depression. They have created a system that has availed thousands and thousands of people to the appropriate therapy through being able to fund it. And the level of dignity and respect that they have for each and every person who comes through their doors is truly remarkable. So Karen Ezra Nefesh is a school-based system, which means that we work closely with the school in order to ensure the individual gets the help that they need. They are totally trusting the school system. They trust the rabbis, the teachers, and their professionals. And they say, listen, you know the child best. You work out where they're gonna go. You monitor it. If you like it, we will pay for half their expense. And this has been proven over and over again that lives were completely changed because they were able to get the right care. We have a thorough and elaborate vetting system where we check out what the financial standing of the family is. Check out the therapist, make sure he's competent, make sure that it fits the issue that is being treated. It's a beautiful thing. It's not just an open check. They monitor with the teacher or the rabbi. They monitor with the parent and, of course, with the therapist. I've known personally children that went through intense help through the help of Karen Ezra and Efesh, today are married, running successful homes. There's no doubt in my mind if they didn't get that help, if they stay married, their children would suffer because of a dysfunctional home. Karen Ezra and Nefesh's success is what they're creating for years to come. The organization since inception has facilitated therapeutic intervention for over 4,000 children across the country in 700 different schools, amounting to over $20 million in funding. The budget for the overall organization in the year 2023 is $3.6 million with an active caseload of 1,100 students, of which hundreds of students are from the Syrian community. So a challenge is that every time we have a fundraiser or we reach out to people, we raise more children than we do money. We have to pay out for them, but we don't have the money coming in to be able to sustain such a system. If we have community backing and we have the funding that we need to be able to support these individuals, then the sky is the limits. If we support KEL, there'll be hundreds of homes in our community that will be strong in years to come because they got the little support that was needed at its most critical moment. The community really has to understand if they help this organization, they're helping our own people. Supporting Karen Ezra Nefesh is helping the future of our community. 
because they are nipping the problems in the bud in a very smart way. I'd like to give a great Hazako Baruch to Keren, Ezin, and Nefesh. They are doing unbelievable on behalf of our community. They take the therapist, they take the case, and they support them and they say, we're going to take the load off the parents' back and really give the kid the future that they need. And that is, we need to open our hearts as much as we can to, to give them that support. Thank you.